What's going on, Sartorialist? Welcome back to the Holsey Style. Today, what we're gonna be doing is looking at my five favorite outfits from Instagram from the month of July. We're gonna be breaking them down and examining why they work. Let's get into it. My first favorite outfit from the month of July comes from the menswear page, Style Latino. In the photograph, the man is wearing a black and white oversized Glencheck sport coat that has a soft blue overcheck. Underneath that, he is wearing a navy and green rugby stripe knit shirt, and also he has on high-rise pleated trousers that appear to be denim. By far, the most alluring aspect of this outfit is its masterful embrace of pattern. It may not be an explicitly stated rule in menswear that you should not wear two bold patterns right next to each other, but it is rarely attempted. And in those instances when it is, it is often done so with disastrous results. The outfit presents as being exaggerated, showy, and tasteless. Nonetheless, for this outfit, the patterns seem to clash in a way that is aesthetically pleasing. I suspect that this has to do with the proportions, the size of the patterns in relationship to one another. While the glint check on the sport coat is significantly larger than we are used to seeing, stripes on the knitted shirt are significantly smaller than we are used to seeing on rugby stripe shirts. So they almost balance each other out. Further, the color combination is quite striking. You have the scheme of neutrals over the top of earthy tones. You have the black and the white of the Glencheck sport coat over the top of the blue and the green of the knitted shirt and the light blue of the trousers. The outfit is able to achieve a subtle level of unity, tying in the outside and inside of the outfit. And this is because of the overchecks on the sport coat which are light blue. So you have that little earthy tone on the sport coat tying into the navy and green of the knitted shirt and the light blue of the denim, matching together those earthy tones. My second favorite outfit comes from the menswear account La March Official. In the photograph, the man is wearing a black single-breasted pinstripe suit. Underneath that, he has a green butcher stripe cutaway collar shirt and a solid emerald tie. This outfit is striking for a number of reasons. The first is its unconventional cut. We are not accustomed to seeing pinstripe suits that are single breasted. Most of the pinstripe suits I've seen on Instagram and in person are typically double breasted with peak lapels. Further, the color combination is uncommon and therefore quite striking. We have once again, a scheme of neutrals over the top of earthy tones. You have the black and the gray of the pinstripe suit over the top of the green stripes on the shirt. Further, the patterns work quite nicely. Generally in menswear, they advise you not to wear two of the same pattern right next to one another. But I think it works in this case because the stripes are disproportional. Stripes on the shirt are significantly larger than the pinstripes on the suit, and therefore it works. If they were the same size, this outfit would no, not look quite as good. My third favorite outfit comes from the enthusiast account, Dapper Classic. In this photograph, he is wearing a gray Hounds 2 sport coat. Underneath that, he has a charcoal polo shirt that has a one piece button down collar and a pair of brown high rise trousers. What is so remarkable about this outfit is that it is in a certain sense, unremarkable. This largely has to do with the color palette, which is almost, almost, I emphasize, tonal. The outfit is comprised of two primary colors, gray and brown. You have the varying shades of gray on the Hounds 2 sport coat, and then you have the charcoal of the polo shirt. Now, the trousers are brown, and brown is technically an earthy tone. But this brown is very, very dull. It's closer, I would say, to a top than it is to a chocolate. And thus, it kind of coheres very well with the rest of the outfit and gives it almost the aura of being toned. Further, I would say that there's a pleasing horizontal symmetry to this outfit. The upper half of the outfit is gray. You have the varying shades of gray on the sport coat, charcoal of the polo shirt. The lower half is that top dull brown. Further, there is a restraint on pattern. You have the very busy houndstooth on the sport coat that gives it almost kind of a pixelated appearance, and that is over the top of solids. 
but there's this kind of like ease and grace and simpleness to the outfit. My fourth favorite outfit comes from the enthusiast account H. Wilbur. In the photograph, he is wearing a brown hop sack double-breasted sport coat. Underneath that, he ha has on a mustard terry cloth polo shirt, a pair of stonewashed denim. For me, by far, the most interesting aspect of this outfit is the way that it plays with formal, casual, and workwear. He's wearing a double-breasted jacket, which is significantly more formal than a single-breasted jacket, even if it is brown. Underneath that, he has on a mustard terry cloth polo shirt. That is a very casual summer shirt, something that you might wear, for example, poolside. And then he has on a pair of stonewashed Levi's. Now, this would be considered more in the category of workwear. Then he has on the Belgian loafers, which is a very sleek return to kind of formal. So you can see throughout the outfit how he's kind of playing with it. He has the formal jacket, the casual shirt, the workwear denim, and then for the shoes, he returns to something formal. And it just provides a very interesting contrast, those formal shoes with that informal Denim. The color palette is intriguing as well. Chocolate with mustard is one of my favorite color combinations, but it's kind of intensified here by a certain level of symmetry. You have the brown of the hop sack, and then you also have the brass buttons, which have that kind of yellow that's very close to mustard. And on the inside, of course, you have the mustard polo shirt. So there's this weird kind of balance between the sport coat and the shirt. There's also a kind of vertical symmetry. You have the brown of the Belgian loafers, you have the light blue of the denim, and then you have a return to the brown in the sport coat. My fifth and final favorite outfit from the month of July comes from the enthusiast account James Jonathan T. I believe he's actually the model in the style Latino photograph that we looked at. But in this photograph, he is wearing a mustard turtleneck, which is, I believe, composed of sheetland wool and a pair of light blue high-rise trousers. While this is by far the most simple outfit in my selections, I think that that's what I find so alluring about it. It seems to be able to do so much by doing so little. We very simply have a pair of sunglasses, a turtleneck, and high-rise trousers. But what makes it so striking is the color combination. Mustard and Blue together is a very co common color combination in menswear, but we're accustomed to seeing mustard with navy, right? Now, in this case, he made a very subtle change, and rather than having navy trousers on, he has these light blue, almost denim colored trousers. Now, that very small shift in the color combination makes it, in my opinion, stand out so much the more, especially when he is standing against the sea and the sky. So there you have it, Sartorialist. Those are my five favorite outfits from the month of July. If you enjoyed this content, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop more videos on the Holsey style. Until next time, guys.